Okay, this is Mike here I'm doing a video on a different cutter this time. Uh, this is the SC model, so some of you may have this here. I uh, just want to talk about a, a couple of things. I'll go over the control panel a little bit here. I also want to talk about the carriage as well. I'm going to take this blade holder out. Uh, so, pretty excited you get you cut your cutter in the mail and uh, you open it up. <coughs> And you know you turn it on. You go to do your first cut, and it's crooked or it's lopsided or it just doesn't make sense. Uh, the first thing you want to check for, I'm gonna go ahead and do this already, is uh, the carriage, and that's this black box right here. Now it may seem like oh it's fine, this is how it's supposed to be, but the thing is is that it wobbles around so much it causes this blade holder here that sits inside of the arm to uh, to tilt and be at a different angle than it's supposed to so it can cause some really bad cuts now the thing is, is that during shipping you know um, the carrier might not always be gentle even if it says fragile on the box so this carriage here actually may come undone and that usually can happen uh, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to see that there are the little white wheel here on the bottom left and you're going to see that there's a little white wheel here on the bottom right so the thing to do is take your hand like this and then push up so when you're pushing up you're pushing the top wheel there's actually a third wheel right here at the top so it kind of makes a little triangle so you push up and then you push in just one second here get a better angle push up and push in so I pop that little wheel on first and I come over here and I pop that wheel on so see how easy that was I just pick it put it, pick it up because there's a spring in there that allows it to compress so that you can take it and put the little wheel up on the track so now that both wheels are in the track here and they roll along like they're supposed to feels nice feels firm on there so there's no issue now <coughs> So I did want to go over to with um, with you about the control panel and some of the behaviors here. So you get your cutter, you turn it on, and as you can see, the carriage goes all the way to the right. So this is where it's going to start cutting at. So I just kind of want to give you an idea because some people don't know really where to start cutting. First thing is you have your blade holder here. Maybe the arm is closed like this. I'm trying to give you a good picture there. Maybe it's just open. But anyway, anyhow, there is a little um, get a little closer. There's a little indentation right here that you'll see that there's a little flange on here. This little round flange that sticks out a little bit further. That actually fits inside the groove. So you see how it fits in there. Close it bring the thumb screw over and then just lock it down so it's in there nice and firm you don't want to be too tight on there because this is a plastic arm you don't want to break it at the little let me see if I can get it here I guess I can't a little too dark there but there's a little little pin there but you don't want to break that and you don't want to break the fork part of this either <coughs> so generally when you're loading your vinyl up I'm just going to use this as an example some test material that we have generally you want to line this part with the very corner here. Now let's say that you don't want to move your vinyl over and you don't want to move it there so you can come to the control panel here and you see how it's on local already so you press enter on local now you're ready to travel. So you don't need to worry about this part anymore now you need to worry about the arrows because now I'm going to press the left arrow let the carriage go over a little bit here and what I want to do is I want to get the blade holder as close to the edge as possible. Oops. I'm pressing down for that. And see how it's just right in the corner there and if I press down you can see it's going to start cutting at that point. That's exactly where we want it. So that you have as much distance from this point outward as possible. So now that that's in place and you have it where you want it now you come back here and you have origin, current, and on. So in order for us to go from origin to current, 
you need to press the select button. So I press it one time. Now I'm on current. So since current is highlighted, now you want to press enter here, which now puts it in that orientate in that um, origin point. So now it's going to start cutting exactly at this point. Now, if you start, if you do this again, you're in this mode. You travel to where you want it, and you have it right here. Now, if you press uh, any other key or if you press cut, so, uh, nothing will happen because it's not in place, so it doesn't know it's even supposed to be cutting. If you even if you send a cut to it, so you might notice that. Um, if you press enter on origin point, is what we'll do now. It's it's not really gonna it's not really gonna set it. So we'll just go back to local test and copy. So you have to do select and remember to go to current and press enter because so it can start from this point. So that's the way to line the vinyl up. Uh, that's the way to put a carriage back on track if it is off track. Um, so I'll just kind of show you real quick here one more time. So you start off on local, test and copy. <coughs> now you'll also notice that you have SPD, which is your speed, and PRS, which is your pressure. Now you can adjust these. Uh, you generally want to be around um, 3 to 500, your pressure around 100 or 103 or something like that for your regular adhesive vinyl or maybe some heat transfer but if it's a thicker material you're probably going to have to go up to 120, 130, maybe even 180 depending upon what it is using a 60 degree blade. Uh, so right now we have local test copy we hit enter and as I stated before you know you just press the directional arrows you can see that the uh, carriage moves left and I can move it back to the right by pressing the right arrow. It's as simple as that, really. Okay. So now we also have the up and down arrows. Now, let's say you have vinyl in here. Basically, the up and down arrows move the material back and forth. So I don't have my pinch rollers down all the way right now, so it's kind of crooked. But otherwise, it would be completely fine. I'm going to take this out here so you can see the uh, pinch rollers. These are the pinch rollers here. They actually come down from the top. You can raise and you can lower them. So when the lever goes up, that means the pinch roller wheels go up. So this one's up, I press it down, I have it down, now I have it back up. The most important thing to remember about these pinch rollers is they have to be on this grid um, bar here. If they're not, let's say for example, they're right here or even right in the middle and you've got your vinyl loaded here for example I'm just going to go ahead and put this in this is not the right uh, material it's just a test material so you put your vinyl in there and it's like that it's in a place where it's not supposed to be which is right under this bracket for the SC model so what's going to happen is this is going to this is going to grip here and it's not going to roll so it's probably going to torque it over here or over there or it's probably going to bunch it up right in the middle, especially if you don't adjust your speed and your speed's at 800 and your pressure's at 200 and you don't, you don't look at that, you just kind of give it a go without looking at that first. So this is what can happen. So just remember, it's always um, anywhere, anywhere on this rough roller here, just not in the middle, anywhere here. Now I'm going to go ahead and press reset. That makes the uh, carriage go to the right, and that's its or original origin point. That's its home, I guess you could say. It usually starts about from here to the blade holder. That's about uh, about three and a half inches. So you don't want to put, for example, you load your vinyl in. You don't want to put your vinyl all the way over here because it, it can't reach it. It can't go back any further. If anything, you want to start it right up underneath that blade holder. Put that right in the corner. Okay. Or, if you want to, you can even put it over here, anywhere else on the cutter. And you've got local test and copy. Press enter. You can have the carriage come to the uh, vinyl. So you don't always have to start to the right. <coughs> because I know that different 
uh, people will have different um, um, ways of putting the vinyl vertical, horizontal, according to the project that you want to do. So, but this is a little bit of, a, I guess you could say, training here for the SC model, for the controls, uh, for the vinyl and loading the vinyl and getting it right underneath the blade holder. Um, also, making sure that your pinch rollers are in the right spot so you don't cause any problems. Also, making sure that your speed, uh, just one second, I'm going to reset it here. I just want to show you this too. You have a speed of 500, and you want to change that. Just press the up and down arrow while it's on local test and copy. So I can change that to 300. And let's say I want that pressure changed. Well, that's left and right arrow. So I'm going to go 100 grams. You can see that changing right now. So, so oops, I made a mistake. So I'm going to press the right arrow. I'm going to correct that to 100 grams if I can get it. Sometimes it's a little touchy, but that gets it. That's all you have to do to change those values. There's nothing else really here on the machine to change or to do. Uh, you can do the rest of it in the software. But uh, this is the SC model that we have here. So other than that, um, I'll be making some more videos on you know changing the motherboard, maybe even changing the LCD screen, um, or putting tension on the belt, you know something else, and especially changing out the I/O board. And that's the input, the output board, which is right here on the right hand side. That's the serial port. That's the USB port right there. You can see that. So I'll show you how to change this out because a lot of people, you know, sometimes they will leave the uh, cord around on the floor or in the way and they might accidentally trip and, and pull that, rip it out, and that's going to break off the USB on this little board here and we'll have to send you out another one if you're under warranty. So I'll be showing you how to change that out too. Okay, well this concludes the video on the SC for the control panel, the vinyl, loading the vinyl, the pinch rollers, and if you have a um, a wobbly or loose carriage when you first get it, it's probably because of shipping. Okay? Alright, thank you.